From the station with the most local news in our West Michigan, Fox 17 News at 6 starts right now. I'm really deeply hurt and wounded. I don't know what to do. I cannot stop myself but for crying. All the mother here, our mother, you know the pain that we go through to, uh, to give birth to a child. And as a parent, I was thinking maybe it was my son who was going to bury me, he will assist at my funeral. But what is so astonishing, I am the one burying my son. A family left searching for answers after their son was shot and killed by a Grand Rapids police officer. Thank you for joining us for Fox 17 News at 6. I'm Josh Berry. I'm Janice Allen. Here's a look at what we're working on tonight at 6. The family of Patrick Leoya and civil rights attorney Ben Crump held a news conference today after police released those videos of the deadly shooting. We are sharing their calls for justice. Now, as the investigation continues at 630, we're speaking with a use of force expert for more insight on the deadly shooting along with the officer's response. Plus crowds gathering once again now the second day in a row in downtown Grand Rapids rapids to protest that deadly police shooting. We will head out there live in just a bit for a closer look at the demonstrations. But first, let's bring in our Lauren Edwards with more of what Leoya's family had to say today. Lauren. Guys, an emotional day at Renaissance Church behind me. It's their family life center. There was lots of tears. The mother, the father, the uh, crying, even the interpreter, because they are a family from the Democratic uh, Republic of Congo. And the interpreter broke down at tears at one point. And the family saying at this point, they just want three things. Number one, peaceful protest. Number two, they want the officer prosecuted, charged. And they also ultimately want is justice for their son, Patrick. And when Patrick goes to walk away, he could have just stepped back and called for backup. I mean, he had the car. He had the passenger in the car. All he had to do was to call for backup and wait. Attorney Ben Crump talking about that deadly shooting that's caught national attention. 26-year-old Patrick Leoya was shot and killed during an officer-involved shooting on Monday, April 4th, near the intersection of Nelson and Griggs. Wednesday, GRPD released videos of the deadly incident. Crump calling for accountability and transparency, saying it'll lead to justice. We also heard from the family, the mom in tears the entire time, the father Peter as well. Now, Brianna Taylor's mother was also in attendance. Her daughter was shot and killed by police during a botched raid in March 2020 in Louisville, an incident that changed her life forever. So she knows what the family is going through. I felt it was important just because um, I know what it feels like to be them. Um, and just, you know, this being where Brianna was born and raised, I just, it was a personal connection. So I didn't know, I couldn't think of a better place to be. It's rough in that, There'll always be people like me who are willing to support her, to come stand with her, cry with her, anything she needs. And, and to know that we hate to welcome her into this, this club, but it, it is what we are, but that we'll forever support her. Now, Ben Crump noted that Brianna Taylor and Patrick Leoya were the same exact age when they were killed. They were both 26 years old. Now, attorneys Crump and Johnson say that they are hoping that Prosecutor Becker will bring charges in this. If they do not, they will be reaching out to the Attorney General Dana Nessel, hoping that she will step in. And coming up at 630, you'll hear from Johnson himself. Reporting live here in Grand Rapids, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News. All right, Lauren, thank you.